Hey guys, my name is Robert. Thanks for coming to the channel. If this is the first time you've been here, uh, the things that I do here are DIYs, vlogs, and reviews of different products. And today is another review that I'll be talking about. I'll be installing it in our 2013 Lexus LX570, AKA LX Family Truckster. So we'll be right back. So welcome back guys. If you didn't know, I have four kids. So usually my daily driver is this 2017 Toyota Tacoma. But unfortunately, if I have to take the whole family, I'm a little bit short in room. So I ended up buying the 2013 LX570 because the new one's crazy expensive. No way I can afford it. So we are planning on doing family trips and outdoor activities. So one thing I had to keep in mind is First of all, you get dirty, very dirty at times, especially your feet. Second of all, your kids are kind of dirty. <laughs> so um, even if you're not traveling anywhere just to get uh, an ice cream cone, some candy, some crackers, just some various stuff. Trust me, um, kids aren't the neatest at times and sometimes some parents aren't either. Uh, I won't mention my wife, but <laughs> anyways. Uh, so that's why it made me think I need to take care of something that's pretty simple, but at the same time needful. And those are floor mats. The floor mats that usually come in a stock OEM LX570 are carpets. It is a luxury vehicle, hence LX luxury. They do have a rubber floor mat option. I didn't get rubber floor mats here, but I think being seven years old, I don't think they would have lasted. I have a pair here, so that's why I know as well is from another Lexus. So there's a lot of weatherproof formats out there and um, I've checked them out and I'm not a fan of it. OEM is decent, but it doesn't hold a lot of water retention if there's a lot of spillage. And the other aftermarkets don't look very, what's the best word to say, classy? And being an Lexus or a luxury vehicle or a luxury SUV, you gotta have a little bit of class, not because of me, but also the wifey. She's a little bit picky about that. When I was at SEMA 2019 with my Tacoma, I actually saw the 3D booth where they had these cool mats. They're called 3D Max Spider. So I'm gonna show you guys the floor mats and how easy it is to install in the LX570. So area so make sure you take out the existing floor mats like they're reminding you here uh, you don't want to put the mats on the top of the mats for safety purposes you can see the material it's got this kind of cool carbon fiberish look um, everything is uh, laser mapped using a computer to make sure the fitment is perfect uh, the backing here got kind of like a fabric-y spiky material it's supposed to help from sliding. The front mats have the spaces to hold the clips which is good for OEM style which I like so it'll help prevent shifting. Um, I, what I like too is it has some depth so that way if anything spills you have some coverage. Very lightweight by the way very lightweight they're thin so they're not going to feel too thick on the floorboard which is good for the uh, gas pedal and brake pedals. The color here I got, Kagu or Kaju Black. So this actually fits LX570s and Land Cruisers, LC200. So it looks like um, if you do utilize the third roll, which we do, you can cut out the uh, part here, which I'm gonna do. And what I like is that they actually lifted this up. So if there's any spillage, you still have um, protection. It's not going to seep right through. I really like this lip idea. Very good concept. I use this rubber from the uh, RX 350 we used to have. You can see that's why you got to have a rubber mat when you have kids. I don't know what that is, but I'm glad I had a rubber mat back there. Now we're going to take this out. So um, I've slapped it on here 
really quick just to see if it met. And I like it because it has this ridge right here. So if things spill, it'll be fine. I'm gonna have to put a little bit of pressure here. Uh, it was in a box folded, so I think a little heat, a little pressure will uh, adjust that. Also, I'm gonna cut out the uh, squares here because we do use the third row and the third row matches onto this area. And what I like, again, is they put these, they left the humps higher. So you can uh, have spill proofness. See, there's a ledge all the way across it. So let me go ahead and cut this out. Yeah, I'm not perfect at cutting it, but you get the drift. So that's gonna fit the seat thing. So I'm gonna do the other four, and uh, I think the next uh, three times I could do better. <laughs> this is kinda crappy. All right, here's the test. Drop it. So I could bring it back up. Nice. All right, let's get rid of this junky mat here. What I like about these mats, they're very light. Um, so they're easy to take off, but they're not floppy. So I can get them out in a nice piece and there's some sturdiness to it. And what I heard, you, if you have to clean it, you just rinse it off and you're good to go. So let's get this mat in here. Just twist it, set it. it down I'm just pushing it down that's it wow I'm looking to fit it set and forget it and what I like I said it comes through the edges here so you're uh, you're not gonna spill anything or I should say the kids so if you look here um, I put the OEM mat the worn out OEM mat right on top and you can see how much surface area the Kaju uh, 3D mat Max Spider takes up a lot more coverage and you can see it has that lip so you can have that protection for spillage as well. Big difference. Is that coverage difference guys? So I like it how it just goes all the way across the edges back here. And you actually have to put a little pressure here to um, like a lip. The lower is a little bit more flush. Look at that. Look how flush that is. And I like how they did it so if there's any extra liquids or anything, I mean spill snow or ice or snow that melts, water, mud, they'll go this way kind of outward, so that's kind of cool. Very cool. All right guys, that's it about mats. I know it's a kind of a lengthy video, but I want to get the detail how important a good set of mats are. Keeps your car nice and clean inside, keeps all the elements outside. So you just have to wash it and that's about it. If you want more information about the 3D Max Spider Kaju mats, check out the link I will post below and don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get a reminder for new videos. And I wanna say thanks for coming on here. Thanks for watching the video. Appreciate all the support. Peace out guys.